So then finally we've got our last group of instruments, which is the brass instruments. Now with brass instruments, there are always going to be tubes of air that you buzz your lips inside. And if you have a relatively short tube of air, something like this, it's really only going to get one pitch. So here we go. With a longer tube, something like this one, of course you all recognize the French hose, okay? With a longer tube like this one, you can get a lot of different pitches, as any brass player will tell you, kind of like a bugle. Um, if you've seen somebody playing a bugle and you're wondering how they're getting all those pitches without using the valves. And that's because if you put more energy into the system, you can get higher pitches. <laughs> Now there is another way to get different pitches with brass instruments, and of course if you've ever seen an orchestra, which I'm sure you have, then of course you know about that trombone. And here's my trombone, okay, this is just a cardboard tube, and it fits into another cardboard tube kind of like this. Now it is important that the two tubes are pretty close in size, in other words enough that you can move them back and forth, but really with no airspace in between them. The longer it is, of course, the lower the pitch. So there is a whole bunch of really cool and really easy musical instruments that you guys can put together. And it's really a lot of fun. You'll find that whoever you're working with really is going to enjoy these a lot. And they're really pretty simple as well.